I just did a video on uh, SRS Entertainment uh, videos that uh, it's almost like a part one. This will be almost like a part two. I'm not going to label it as a part two on uh, the, my Facebook page, but it is almost like a part two because it's, I just didn't want to put them all into one video. So the first one that uh, I want to talk about here is, uh, let me see here. called Horno, you know, like porno, but Horno. Ron is a porn director with a little more vision than talent. Not that all, not that he has much uh, either. He aspires to greatness, but never quite achieves it. That is until he comes up with an idea he sure will launch him into infamy. Children of the Cornhole, a horror porno hybrid. Yes, it's a Horno film. One whose plot is brilliant in its pornographic sim simplicity. A zombie outbreak is being spread by legions of the undead bent on sodomizing everybody they can. Uh, once Ron convinces his producer that it's a profitable idea, he is on his way to Hollywood, or at least he thinks so. He gathers together his ragtag uh, group of cast and crew in a hotel room and starts filming. But things soon go horribly wrong when life begins to intimidate art in this worst possible way. So there you go. It's called Horno. This is not a porno film. It's a horror film. Okay. By SRS Cinema. Hilarious gore comedy with plenty of TNA, sex, guts, dismemberment, and vulgarity. Okay, the next one's pretty, uh, just the title alone is pretty uh, disgusting, but it's called uh, Period. Yes, Period. <clears throat> the back. Description. Warning contains strong language, crude humor, graphic nudity, and lots of blood. Imagine if it was that time of month every day for the rest of your life. Now imagine that it was never-ending Nile, Nile of Blood. Our star, Sherry Hyman, doesn't have to imagine. Follow her as she fends off furious girlfriend, Clitora, and deals with the pervy gynecologist and artist and fast-talking agent as she goes from blood-soaked survivalist to blood-soaked artist to blood-soaked, well, I don't want to give it away. But it all leads to a shocking climax that has to be seen to be believed, featuring pun-filled dialogue, bizarre dream sequences, gross-out humor, and kinetic score by award-winning one million tiny tiny Jesus best a uh, best grade experimental band in 2007. Uh, the period is an experience you will you won't soon forget. Okay, so um, there you go. That's pretty uh, disgusting. Um, there's the back of it. You know, I get these DVDs, sh you know, shipped to me in the mail. I think I got this one off Amazon, possibly. But, um, you know, I opened up the package and I sat this on, you know, on my dresser here at the house. And, uh, yeah, I had a friend over and he saw the video sitting there and he's like, what the hell are you watching? But uh, I had to, you know, basically tell him it's 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 a horror movie. You know, it's like a parody, you know. But anyway, like I said, I haven't watched it yet. It's still on the um, plastic saran wrap I've had for a couple weeks now. But um, I'll give it a chance, see what it's all about. Um, it seems disgusting, so I'll try it, let you know. And then uh, we have, last but not least, it's by SRS Entertainment Cinema, uh, Gore Horror. When a lab assistant steals an important formula and all its documentation from Dr. Whitman, he hires a bottom-of-the-barrel private eye chase Barr to locate it. When Barr digs, disappears into the case, uh, he finds the lab assistant. He actually is a dead uh, lab assistant is actually a dead street whore, and the formula is a reanimation agent that 
with the consumption of human blood is keeping her alive. In trying to retrieve the formula, Chase is giving a roller coaster ride through hell. So, there you go, there's the back. So, there you go, there's uh, another order I just got in. I'll watch them as I get a chance, and uh, I might do a follow-up video on, um, you know, on, on what I thought of them, but like I said, they're probably just goofy, you know, comedy, horror type, you know, parodies, so, I, I mean, I already can tell what they are, but, um, you know, they're pretty neat, you know, I'll check them out, and we'll see where it goes. I remember to, um, Subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet already. I got other uh, things besides DVDs, horror collection, busts, masks, figures, uh, posters, costumes, everything. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, check us out on Facebook. Uh, I'll drop a link below the horror stash.